Welcome to Storybooks with Pastella. Today we're going to read The Little Mimosa by Debolina Patra. Once before time, in a big blue sea, there lived a little sea creature named Mimosa. Mimosa loved to swim with her friends. In the summer, they played hide and seek in the coral reefs. In the winter, they climbed the sea rocks to warm their bellies. One morning, Mimosa was practicing some of her favorite swimming tricks. Ali, a dinosaur from the forest, watched her from the shore. You swim really well. Will you show me some more tricks? Ali asked excitedly. Mimosa showed Ali her best swimming tricks. Later, they drank sweet coconut water and talked for hours. Ali and Mimosa met at the same spot every day. Soon, they became very good friends. Mimosa loved hearing stories about Ali's adventures on land. We should play tag, Ali said one day. But Mimosa could not run. She tripped and fell. Later, they did belly flops in the sea. Woohoo! Mimosa yelled. Gloop! Ali burped. They tried different activities. Beach ball, jumping rope, wave serving, but they could not play together. Mimosa was sad. I wish I could live on land, she cried. A sea witch appeared before Mimosa. I can grant you a wish, little one, the sea witch said with a smile. But you cannot live both on land and in the sea. You must choose one. I choose land, Mimosa beamed. As you wish, the sea witch bowed. May I come back to the sea? Mimosa asked. You may, if you truly wish for it, said the sea witch. But if you return to the sea, you can never go back onto land. The sea witch waved her wand. Mimosa's flippers turned into hands and feet. Ali was so excited to have Mimosa join her on land. They hopped, jumped, and skipped. It was the most fun they ever had. Mimosa made many new friends. But after a few days, Mimosa began to miss the sea. The dinosaurs ran really fast. Mimosa huffed and puffed. She missed her powerful flippers. Mimosa did not like the tangy taste of wild berries. She missed her favorite seaweed salad. At night, strange noises in the forest kept Mimosa awake. She missed the calmness of the quiet sea. Living on land was harder than Mimosa had thought. She sat on the shore, listening to the waves rumble and roar.
Alice sat beside Mimosa. What is wrong? she asked. I miss the sea, Mimosa sniffled. But if I go back, I will miss you and all our land adventures together. Ali comforted Mimosa. We will still be friends. Our adventures will never stop, no matter where we live, Ali said. So, Mimosa returned to the sea as she waved goodbye to her friend. Ali had an idea. She knew there was a way they could all play together again. Ali and her friends built a water park. Now, Mimosa would always have a place to play with her friends from the sea and the land. With her friends around, the sea and the land were not so different after all. The End Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Learn with Pastella for more stories.